I pussy bet you. Pussy bet. All the way from Cambridge, Ontario. Hello. What is this? I didn't catch his name. I don't see it either. Uh, mm -hmm. uh Ricky, what's your name? What, me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Mike. Mike Kaloskis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Ricky. Oh, okay. What, who are what's you? your name? Mike, Mike Kaloskis? Who is this? It, it's Mate. It's Major. I am Major. Major, yeah. Major Payne? Are we Major? No, just, just Major. Major. Okay, what's up Major Nelson, how's it going? <laughs> well, I have a question. Um, what is your biggest regret, either related to Mega 64 or just in personal life? Biggest regret, Eric already looks like he's thought of one. I <laughs> thought of one. Oh, we're gonna one. <laughs> <laughs> Eric immediately started shaking his head. I was like, "Well, you just you just asked someone me someone thought of one. You, you asked me to vocalize my thoughts from throughout the day. My biggest regret <laughs> on a podcast. <laughs> hey, any incriminating secrets <laughs> that you guys never told anybody about? Any crimes you ever committed that you got away with? All of them. I have I have big regrets that I'll never talk about. Oh, well, let's oh, get one. On. Let's get one. Let's but like one. honestly, the regrets I'm willing to talk about aren't that. Like they're just things that I hold on me that aren't like that big a deal it's like oh one time i well, cut a guy off and like he got, i don't know it's i chased a guy down in traffic i don't know stupid shit i don't know did you really do that yes i did really yes you chased a guy down in talk traffic about, you've never that. you've never followed something you've never no, done that never once no well, yes well, what follow someone like in your car oh yeah yeah so i did when? that I, I said it before you but... you are i'm alongside them or whatever and like they almost cut you off uh -huh. and then you look at them and they don't look at you and you're just like well this will not stand so how long did you follow them for, for until i had to get off the freeway it was like it's probably like five or six minutes that's uh you didn't really follow them if you follow them <laughs> off the freeway if you follow was, them on their path hey i was once you leave your path, then you're officially following someone else. We were else. in two lanes of traffic, and I kept, I kept pace with them, and just kept fucking looking at them and shaking my head, and like I turned my music up or rolled my windows down, just kept fucking like screaming at them, and they wouldn't look at me the whole time. Just driving on the five south up in Irvine, just the whole fucking time. And I finally got to my exit. I don't regret this, but one time I threw a plastic water bottle at a car, <laughs> and I don't even remember why, but I just remember there was some chick in this car who did something to piss me off, like cut me off and then was shouting at me how I was an idiot or something, mm -hmm. and so I threw an empty plastic water bottle yeah, at her car. But, but it was I, I regret I regret following that person now, but at the time, I remember being so, I know you're, I think they tried, I think they like almost cut me off, I think it was something like that. I was so like viscerally angry that like there was no there's just no connect to what I was gonna do and like what I was doing. It was just I'm like I'm acting purely on instinct for like a really long time. I was in time. the car once with these two friends who got cut off and wanted to throw like a full water bottle at somebody on the highway and I regretted being in that car because yeah. I was trying to explain to them like what if they have a gun and they're like they don't have a gun fuck them and cool. I was like what if they do. They fucking don't! I right, pull up next to this car. And it's just like, oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. I think about following that car from time to time and thinking about how mad I was and everything, and that's what I regret is like getting just acting. Yeah, getting that getting mad, mad, acting on instinct and like having no control and just going like, oh, I'll never do that again. Yeah, but you didn't and even follow ever. them. I was, I was pacing up, like stopping. There was traffic that was like trying to go around us, and I would not they, allow they, it. They probably didn't even know you were there. They didn't, and that made me even more mad. Mm -hmm. See, that's not. If they don't know, you're, you're especially not hey, following. So them. I said this before on the thing, but I followed one person one time. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, someone told me uh, it was when there was a massive like. There was a massive power outage or something. The ATMs didn't work anywhere. And someone pulled up as I was getting gas. Do you have money? Like, can I get some? Do you mind if I borrow a few bucks? And I legitimately looked. I thought I had a few bucks. I had just spent my last five to get a gallon of gas. And I said, I'm so sorry. I don't. And they went, fucking liar. And I, I followed them. I was so mad about that. I legitimately tried to find money for that person. And they said, fucking liar. And I followed them. They were going down kind of the same way. So it really wasn't a big deal. But I was right behind them with brights on just following them. And they did uh, pull over and got out and started yelling. And I just sped off. And I don't regret that at all. That was, that was hilarious. I, I, yeah, I followed, <laughs> I followed really closely behind people um, because they, they pissed me off or done something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there was one time I... like. I accidentally cut off a woman because I just didn't see her. I wasn't paying attention. And I felt really bad, but then we pulled up to the same stop stop sign and I had my windows rolled down. 
or I'm sorry, windows rolled up, but she rolled down hers and she just started yelling at me. <laughs> and I just sat there like, and I just, all I did was I locked eyes and stared at her as she was yelling at me. And my biggest regret was not saying anything back to her <laughs> because it's like, Hey, I almost hit you like fine. Like I was, I was sorry. You took the time to roll down your window and fucking yell at me like for <laughs> 15 seconds. Chat. Britannia J, men are weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do feel bad that I yelled at an old woman and called her a whore once. Oh, Derek, was that was road. so funny. That yeah, was so but, funny. But she was really an older woman, and I was like, you know, this young guy, and I was like, I shouldn't be yelling at yeah. older women she, that they're whores. She absolutely, like, botched the road. She did something completely illegal, then rolled down the window to tell you to get educated. <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> hey, I don't think there was anything wrong with. Hey, don't don't response. regret. No, do not regret that. No. No. that's the type of stuff I regret. I will never, but I will never forget how it, I've never heard words flow out <laughs> like fucking silk before. It was it, you didn't even pause or improvise. It was just, oh, actually, I am educated, you whore. Yeah, educated. And she just whore. <laughs> hey, Marty, twenty k. He remembers. Yeah, he remembers, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, Honestly, if we're talking about, like, regrets, I have, like, little regrets, but they're the ones that, like, weigh on me most. It's like, I remember going on a houseboat trip when I was a kid, and somebody was trying to catch a fish, and then I tried to help him, and the fish got away. Nobody gives a oh fuck about God. that. I would nobody, fucking hate you forever. Nobody gives a fuck about Such that, a, but in my head, I've built it up, and it's been so long that I just... If you were my son's friend, in there. I would tell my son, like, not to one time we were on, One time we were... Me and my dad were on sea dews and we would, like, we would get close to each other, like, yeah. you know, splash each other. One time I got too close, and we, I hit the sea dew against the other sea dew. Oh. My dad... My dad was really mad. That makes me want to curl up in a ball and die. Yeah, he probably had to pay that. so much money. And it was probably more than just the money. There was probably, like, personal stuff going on, and you just, like, had to shit on there it. There was just... There, I, There's ugh, a great I friend. I fucked that up. I would feel worse about that <laughs> I than that you up probably real bad. already do. Um, <laughs> I, There's the salt that it's Oh, no, I room. mean... No, it's we're, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Keep going. Um... <laughs> I regret the way that I've ended relationships with certain people. Oh my god! I regret the way I I've acted at work at times. I regret. You I, should. I, I have I heard. I have like. I read your boss's Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. I don't know. I live. A, I try to live a life of being better than I was the day before, and a lot of that is me holding on to a lot of uh, personal regret, trying to be better than I was. So that that is how I live my life and it's not the way you should live yours. Maybe. Maybe you should be better without being regretful. But I don't know how to do that. So I think that honestly you're not regretful enough, Eric. Uh, I hey would, yeah. I would try to reflect on things. <laughs> I was going gray at like I was going gray at like twenty three. I have like But you know what? I think all that gray hair actually went away because uh -huh. you stopped. Because I stopped being things. so regretful. I think that's what it is. Because yeah. you're looking shiny and brown right now. <laughs> How I Stopped Worrying and Love the Badur. Exactly. That's what I title this choice. I like to live every day with the motto, no bad days. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Got do, you, do you have I, a bumper sticker of that? I should get one you that should. says no bad days. I got sunshine. I got a beach next door to me. I can dip my toes in the oh, water. Oh, dude, you're going to go to the beach? Yeah, no bad days. You want to go with me? Yeah, have you been to the beach recently? Uh, no, oh. I actually fucking hate the beach. So, <laughs> I hate San Diego because it doesn't have a downtown. I love San Diego, but I fucking hate the beach. I'm kind of the same. I don't, like I don't, the beach I don't really like the beach. Either. I don't. The beach sucks. First San of all, hey, I'm excellent place to take a date. Mm -hmm. I not disagree. A place I go by myself. Why do I want to take a date to the beach where I have to take my shirt off next to a million guys who look better than I do? That's a good Worst point. Worst place to take. Hey, a date. do you go at I, night? I don't do. Maybe? I don't do that. I yeah. do that. Yeah. You go at night. You go, you at, go at you night. go at night, and then you what? walk. You walk around like Pacific Beach, right uh -huh. at right at sunset mm -hmm. is really nice. You can watch the sunset over the water. You walk around the whole boardwalk area. You go through Belmont Park when it's just getting dark, so everything starts to okay, light up. Okay, you know what though? Mm -hmm. That's not going to the beach. That's I like all that. That's absolutely going yeah. to the beach. Going to the beach is going to the beach and sitting on the sand and thinking about going in the water. And maybe, not. maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Other people are there doing maybe fucking maybe stupid boarding, shit. That's going to the it's, it's all fuck. It's all these stupid decisions. You don't going to the beach about. is going to the beach and doing things you hate. I go to the <laughs> beach and I don't do any of the things that I hate. 
Yeah, because you're like going to the boardwalk. Going, <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. to Belmont Park. Yeah, at the beach. You know that song, Down at the Boardwalk? Uh -huh. It's not called Down at the Beach. <laughs> okay, I rest my case. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. Oh, um, what about Kevin? Yeah, Kevin, what do you regret? Kevin, I regrets. I don't have a lot. I like, want Kevin to have like little, a really like little, dark tiny, secret. <laughs> and that that stick with me, and that's it. Like, it, it's, it's nothing that, and I don't really get like super pissed off, so I don't really have any like regrets like that. Kevin is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, shut up for a second. That one time Kevin didn't touch that girl's butt. <sighs> yeah. I do regret that. Kevin, regret not massaging <laughs> butts. Kevin could have massaged firm dancer butts. Three. Three. Three at once. They were hot. And that was a gentleman. Yeah, well, <laughs> how did that You could have been a rough man. I'm a fucking dog. Yeah. Yes, he is. I was a, a big old regretful dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Beethoven. He's like a hound, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. yeah. Hey, I good, regret that. Very good question. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>